Good morning. I've been looking at some of my old journals and um, one in particular really spoke to me today. It was when I was living in Snodland and it was in 1996 and Brownie, my dog, was 16 years old and he was getting more frail. And you can only get to the three corners before he would be limping and wanting to go back home. Now, even then, he would stumble a little as his back legs were not strong as they used to be, but he would keep walking. And this particular day, two lively dogs came along and passed him, but nearly knocked him over. And then Tish, my little dog, ran ahead of him with these other dogs enjoying himself. Brownie stood still for a moment and I knew that he wanted to go home. So it was lovely because at the three corners he could just walk down, go in the back garden and wait for me. On this particular day though, I got talking to one of my neighbors with her dog and typical of Brownie, he was always protective of me. And so he wandered back looking for me to make sure that I was all right. There's something about his faithfulness. He was protective of me. He was faithful and he was always like this. And it reminded me of our Heavenly Father. Don't matter what you're going through, what's happening in your life, the scriptures tell us of God's faithfulness and he's always there protecting us even sometimes when we can't see it he's there protecting us he's there guiding us with his Holy Spirit and that will go on from this life into eternity and I love that beautiful hymn that sings of his great faithfulness Morning by morning, your mercies I see. All that I have, your hand hath provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me. There are so many promises of his faithfulness to us. But sometimes we need a reminder, like I did today, looking back over my journal. And like thinking of Brownie. Brownie was my best friend. He, he was loyal, he was faithful, he was always there for me, even though he was old. And that's like God. God's love never changes. Gentle, protective towards me. And so is God to all who trust in him. Even when we feel alone or forsaken by events or friends, he's always there in war, in peace, in the hustle and bustle of life, in the quiet solitudes, in sorrow, in joy. Therefore, now and evermore, I will never forsake you. Nothing can separate you. His faithfulness, everlasting. He will never fail us or let us down. When we lose faith, he holds us in his faith. What a beautiful promise. Hold on to that today for you and your life. Amen.